Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC. We are here in Mexico. Yes, Viva La Mexico, and I'm with my friend Jose. We're going to talk about Nakamura, the rigidity, the precision, the ability to run lights out, the fact that you can run one part or a thousand parts, and it's going to have the same tolerances at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. And I'm really excited to learn more with you guys about how the Nakamura really supports the Mexican industry versus how many times I've done interviews in the U.S. and learning about how it supports the U.S. industry because because we do have differences and here in Mexico there is a massive amount of automotive business. In fact, I was recently told that it's going to be number four in the world if it's not already already and constantly growing. So it's very important that the Mexican people and Mexican companies are intelligent or I don't want to say that part, I'm going to say that one part. where. <laughs> It's really important that the Mexican companies understand the technology that's going to help them succeed instead of the everyday, I've been doing this for 20 years and doing the same thing over and over again. Let's learn together. So, Jose, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Well, as you are the expert on Nakamura, we know it's a rigid machine. So let's first talk, talk about the rigidity of the Nakamura. Uh, mainly, it's a very, very rigid machines. Uh, the philosophy of Nakamura is making machines for many, many years, we talk for whole life. So that's, we talk a really, really good manufacturing machine. And for those of you out there in Mexico, you know, we're focused here today, but in the whole world who's watching this right now, if you don't know already, let me take a moment to just explain what rigidity does. Deeper cuts, faster feed rates, higher precision, longer tool life. There's so many things that goes into the benefits of having a rigid machine. Nakamura is known for that Japanese style. So now let's talk a little bit about the flexibility of what it's able to do and how it can adapt to what a customer wants to machine. Okay, mainly in these machines, in whole Nakamura machines, we have a turret with how index positions. That means we, we can uh, put together a whole a bunch of, of tooling for a, a complex process, we, in this machine we can put more than uh, up to 40, uh, 48 tools. So it's a, a huge uh, tooling, uh, 12 tooling, and this is the um, basic uh, model machine. But we have uh, two turrets, three turrets, and which is turret have uh, a health index uh, option? It's a standard on, on Nakamura machines. That means we can have a, a bunch, a bunch of tooling in the machine. Very well said, Jose. So now we've got rigidity. Now we've got flexibility. Let's talk a little bit about precision. Oh, man. It's a very, very uh, good precision. And the standard machines in the field, we're making plus minus two microns. So it's a very, very precision machine, even without um, glass scales. So that is means a very, very good precision on the Nakamura machine. And to support Jose on what we're talking about here, to convey this message to you, as the world here in Mexico is all over the U.S. is automation of some sort, whether it's pallets, whether it's bar feeds that go on the back of the Nakamura's, whether it's through robotics. As you guys implement this more here in Mexico, you're going to find this Nakamura at a bar feed that's going to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, is going to make you more money than a machine that runs for eight hours a day and then stops when you leave work. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and the great part about that precision we just talked about is you can leave your shop with that first part running through the night, wake up the next day, come to your shop, and everything is still 100% quality. You don't have to worry about it being out of tolerance. So when it comes to the software now, we, I see a FANUC control here. FANUC is everywhere. So this feels like it would be something that would be familiar to a lot of the companies out there. If, they, if it's the first Nakamura, they're already familiar with the interface that's on there. Yes, that's, that's correct. It's a very familiar control, but Nakamura adds some stuffs specific for Nakamura. Antinur from Nakamura, we can uh, load monitor and standard machines, and also you have airbag. So in case of an incident or a crash, the airbag stop the machine and retract a little bit. In, in that case, the damage is not too big. That's a very, very good option for that kind of incidents that, you know, in machining, it's a possibility, but Nakamura Tommy has airbag option. It's a standard on Nakamura Tommy machines. It's a very, very good um, option for not have a big damage on the machine. 
Well, even the most perfect of us are going to occasionally crash a machine. And somebody told me once, if you're not crashing it, you're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. But Nakamura told me is standard hall models. It's a little bit crash and go back and not damage too much the components of the machine. This is the genius of Nakamura. So as the audience starts to understand more about Nakamura and they want to reach out to you, how is the best way to find you? Website, social links, any of that kind of stuff that you want to share with the global audience? Okay, we can we can contact a high tech CNC website or directly with Nakamura Tome Machines. But our customer knows high tech CNC. We can reach and we can offer information, very very uh, a lot of models in 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 sales. But uh, you can uh, machine in internal, stainless steels, uh, steels standard. Nakamura Tome is the solution. Perfecto. Jose, muy bien, muchas gracias. Thank you all for watching MTD CNC, Nakamura, Jose, Grupo, High Tech. Stay tuned, we got a lot more stuff coming to you.